Oh, hello, I didn't even know you were here. The amount of times I've been on this island, I didn't know this was even here. What's up, agents? Zero here. Welcome back to some more Mega Skyblock 4. This is episode 11, and if you remember, last time we discovered a whole bunch of islands because what I had planned for that episode went by way too quickly. Not that you guys really cared. This episode, unfortunately, this is going to be the last episode of the season. Now, before we go ahead and get started with this episode, so I got a couple of requests to name this parrot, one of which was to name the parrot Bob, and one of which was to name the parrot Craft. The Bob comment got here first, so there we go. The parrot's name is Bob. Unfortunately, it's not a gray bird like I was hoping to get, but you know what? I'm not going to complain too much, and apparently it's nighttime. So I actually finally figured out how to get the bird off of my shoulder in between episodes. As you can obviously tell, apparently if I go to sleep, with the bird on my shoulder, it flies off and lands on the ground, which made things a little bit easier. So, this episode, again, the final episode, and here's the thing. I have explored practically every island on this world, except for one. That one, all the way over there, and I don't know if I'm actually prepared to go over there, but I don't really have anything else planned for this episode. But before I go ahead and actually get started with this episode, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd do a little bit of a tour. Next to one, just I thought I'd do a little bit of a tour of the world just so that I have at least some amount of time for me to uh, show you guys what I managed to accomplish in this season. I really. It's, it's really not too big of a surprise, but I've explored every island, and so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what islands we got to. I don't remember what order that I actually discovered these islands in, though. That is a little bit of a problem. So we've got this island right here, which had some leaves, a little bit um, of a... I think it was a sea lantern, if I'm not mistaken. And, well, yeah, you can tell I turned into my... Cobblestone Jammer. We will eventually get to the part where you guys are going to see me exploring the final island. It's just going to be a while. I just want to give a final tour of the places I already mentioned. We got ourselves this island right here, which I'm assuming had a book. I am not entirely sure. Actually, you know what? I don't normally like doing this on this sort of thing, but I do. I am going to go ahead and to creep to make this go by a little bit faster because I know you guys really want to see me get to that island over there and we are going to get to that eventually and I think flying would actually be a lot faster to go ahead and get to every single island so we're going to do that I realize some of you guys probably don't want me to do it this way but it's going to be a lot faster again like I said so this island right here we have ourselves a little bit of a beach island and we found a little bit of a uh, treasure back here. I don't remember what was back here, but we got treasure back there. Over there into the distance, this is a cave island which had a few different ores and apparently there's a cow right here. I didn't even know that was going to happen. Up here, this was within the past two or three episodes, something like that. This was a slime block island to get up this island. I made a little mistake in calculating uh, where the platform actually ended up needing to be. And then after I explored that island, I discovered there's a music disc down here, which I went ahead and grabbed that. Now, one thing I am curious about while I'm flying, are there any music discs down below any of these other islands? Because I just want to make sure there's nothing down here. So I'll... Let's go ahead and explore some of the islands while we're flying around looking. So this right here, if we go ahead and come into here, this is going to take us to the XP shop. And apparently this uh, put me back into survival mode. I'm not going to complain too much because it's probably how it was supposed to be. But yeah, so that's the 
XP farm is there anything down in there not XP farm the XP shop I, that's why I meant to say it's not why I actually said don't see anything down here but we got ourselves just a little bit of a grassy island with some gravel and I think there was a an Easter egg down there because uh, as of this season there was a an Easter egg hunt that we had to complete this right here is a volcano island I don't see anything down under here so yeah this is in fact a volcano there was a little bit of uh, another ward that was growing on the soul sand, so not too bad. This island, this is a cheese island apparently, and this was completely brand new as of this season. I think I discovered this last episode, if I remember correctly. So, Family Island Cheese for Life by Cheesy Fox, and I don't think there's anything down under here. Yeah, there's nothing down under there. We got ourselves a nice glazed terracotta island, which. I have actually not gotten all the lapis from down here. I don't really care all that much because I'm not going to use it really. We got ourselves a nice snow island right here which is actually kind of nice and... Oh hello, I didn't even know you were here. The amount of times I've been on this island, I didn't know this was even here. Let me go ahead and grab this. Uh, apparently I'm not going to get that. What a uh, music disc was that? I remember it was a red music disc. Um. Where are the music discs? I actually did not realize that was even over there. So let me see if I can find out. It was, I think it was this one. So it was apparently a music disc of blocks. I'm assuming I completely forgot that in creative mode that I would not end up picking stuff up off of um, the oven. Um, I am frames, I completely forgot about that. Up here we got ourselves a little bit of a villager frame with some somewhat questionable trades. I can't really get coal, so we've also got ourselves some furnaces, which I don't think there was anything in them to begin with. And there is in fact an anvil, which I have used once or twice, not too often. We got ourselves a nice jungle island right here, massive jungle tree right here and I do remember there was a chest all the way up at the top which I think yeah I got everything on top of that all right let's see are there anything is there anything that I'm missing uh I mean there is over there a few islands I'm still missing but like over here there's this little sand island right here with a little bit of a water source which I covered in lily pads to make it a little bit easier to go back and forth across the island because I don't want to be constantly swimming through it. Okay, so over here we've got ourselves a fallen tree right here on this island. Over here we had ourselves just a whole bunch of tall grass and flowers, which I got rid of all the tall grass and left the flowers because in that particular episode, I was still trying to get seeds for my farm. And well, you can get those from tall grass. Most of you probably already know that. Over here we've got ourselves what I'm assuming is uh, just clay. Yeah, the, oh yeah, terracotta. So it is clay. I don't really need this uh, terracotta though. It's going to be cheating if I have that in my inventory. I know I technically cheated to get the music disc, but it was kind of already there. We got ourselves a mushroom island, which if I remember correctly, this had, yeah, there's a block missing right here. There was a diamond ore up there. We got right here a... No block island, we got ourselves a redstone island. Then over off in the distance, we got ourselves right here. This is a bone island. It, it even comes complete with a skeleton spawner, which I actually got rid of because I didn't trust the spawner. We've got ourselves right here, this island right here, which this had a bed if I remember correctly. And it's got a nice campfire, which is uh, kind of cool. We got ourselves this island right here. This is technically an enchanting island. And if I remember correctly, I got myself a, an enchanted golden pickaxe from here. It was already in the walls because there was an um, invisible... Um, yeah, right there. There's an invisible um, armor stand right there that was holding an enchanted golden pickaxe. And then lastly, this island right here. Nether Island, not too bad. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to go to Nether in this series. That's technically up to TGC sometime in the future. I don't know if he's going to do that because I don't think the Nether is going to be 
all too fun in a skyblock world. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous because you don't really have too many of the normal elements that you would get from a normal world in order to be able to survive very well. So, yeah, I again, that's technically up to TGC. So let's go ahead and go into survival mode. So there's our little tour of the entire world. And we've got one final island which we need to get to. I've already mentioned which island that was. And that's that island all the way off in the distance over there. That is an end tower island, if I remember correctly. And I need some time to see if I have what I need in order to be able to work off of that. We've got ourselves a few different bows that we can use. Let's see. Are there, is there anything that I can combine? I want to take these to the anvil and try to maybe combine them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I want to at least try this. So let's see. Bow with power three. And I want to know what this music disc is because I just found it. Okay, nice little song. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this guy definitely can. Alright, let's go ahead and take that back out. And I think, I mean, apparently I put the uh, bird on my shoulder. It's not something I was hoping to do. And is he actually on my Yeah, he's on my shoulder. I did not mean to do that. Okay, great. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this way and... I'm gonna head over, oh, apparently it's nighttime, which means I should be able to get this bird off my shoulder. I mean, I realize he probably wants to be with me, but I don't want him on my shoulder just in case I accidentally fall off. Alright. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. If I go in here and I get out one of these bows and actually put away that bow. Alright. So let's go ahead and is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the anvil and combine these two bows because if I remember correctly from previous seasons we've got ourselves a few unwelcome friends on that ender island off in the distance and well, let's just say because they are unfriendly, they are definitely going to be a problem if I don't approach this correctly. And if I have these, um, if I have a decent bow, that's going to help me out greatly. And you guys are probably wondering, unless you guys saw previous seasons of Mega Skyblock, you're probably wondering exactly what is on this Ender Island. Well, it's a, well, take a wild guess. For those of you who missed previous seasons and don't know what that island is, it's an Ender Island. Take a wild guess what unpleasant mob is up there. Yeah. If you guys have already guessed that, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it right now. If you guys guessed Shulker, then you were actually correct, because that's like the one nasty mob that appears in the end. I'm, I know Endermen are in the end as well, but you leave them alone. They tend to leave you alone. If you don't look them in the eye, they leave you alone as well. So, and I don't think there's actually any Endermen in this uh, world to begin with. So let's go ahead. I've got myself some arrows. I've got myself some... Arrows of Poison, I'm definitely going to need that. And last but not least, I'm going to need slabs and I'm going to need stairs. Now here's an interesting question. Actually, before I go up back, let me put away some of my fish. And this is not the right chest, I just realized. Let me go ahead and put away this fish. Oh, I apparently have plenty of fish inside of that chest. I didn't even realize. Okay. So, how to approach this Ender Island? Let's see. 
what would be my best approach? Where do I want to start? And I know it seems like I don't really have any... Um, I know where I'm going by really... Oh, by the way, um, I did not mention this during the, um, the little tour, but this place had a whole bunch of lava underneath. I went ahead and made a whole bunch of um, bricks in order to cover up, so it's a lot easier to go across. So, yeah, if I were to go ahead and break down at least a few of these... Yeah, there's lava underneath there, so... Yeah, I wanted to make it at least safe. Okay. So, the plane of action here. What I want to do is I want to make my way from this island right here. I'm not going to bother trying to make this island um, platform three wide. I'm not going to bother making this platform three wide because... That's just not going to make any sense. Let's go ahead and place that there. This is going to be a very stressful climb because, yeah, we've got some really nasty guys up there. And plus, I got to be really careful not to fall off. Because otherwise, I'm going to be out a lot of building materials. And I'm going to be out of, well, the only real boat that I... Have. I mean, I have other bows, and I also only have, I have all, all my arrows in my inventory, so if I lose these arrows, I'm not going to be able to take out these shulkers, so this is going to be very nerve-wracking, to say the least, and one thing I do remember, the first season of Mega Skyblock that had this particular island, the way you got up, was through parkour, which I'll be completely honest, is technically something that are in Ender uh, Towers in the normal game. And I'm assuming there are enough people to complain to TGC about it to the point where he decided not to include the parkour this time around, which it's been like this for two seasons now. And I probably should go ahead and mention that Season 5, I don't know how long it's going to take before Season 5 comes out, but Season 5 will be coming out after this season. Not directly after, because TGC is still working on the next update. But I'm going to go ahead and save this right now, the next update. I'm not going to spoil what's in the next update, but it's going to be... A really massive update. If TGC wants to go down in the comment section and spoil what's going to be coming in the next season, he is more than welcome to. But me personally, I am not going to do that. I'd rather wait until next season before I say anything. Okay, let's go ahead and place this up here. And now we make our way over to... The final island, the end island. And I'm surprised how many materials that I decided to grab. I didn't think it's going to need them. Um, Alright, so we are here. We are on the island. I just want to scout around the area. There's Shulker in the back. No, but there's a dragon head. I don't know if I want that, though. No. Might be cool to have, but I don't think I'm going to... Want it. So let's see. Yep, I see you up there. Definitely want to take you out. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out our bow. And that did not do any damage. And there we go. Took him out. I'm going to go ahead and be quiet just a moment because I want to double check to make sure... There are no other shulkers. I want to listen. Okay, don't hear anything. I'm assuming that's the only guy. I remember the first season that had this tower, which I think was season two. Um, there was like three or four here. Okay, we got ourselves some cobwebs. 
an enchanted book with protection one, not too bad, and a few ender pearls, not too bad. So there we go, there's the Ender Island, and that was not smart. Alright, so we finally did it. We managed to accomplish and beat the map. So that's actually not too bad again. Next season will be coming out not relatively soon in comparison to what you guys probably want, but season five is currently in the works. TGC, as I already mentioned, is still currently working on updates to the map for the next upcoming season. So that's at least good. But as far as this season is concerned, we are pretty much done because I did scout out in creative mode, obviously during the um, little showcase of the map, but before this episode started, just to make sure I wasn't missing any other islands, and no, I'm actually all completely done. So one thing I do want to go ahead and do before I end off the episode and the season is I want to double check the quest book because I haven't, I think I checked that in an episode uh, recently, but I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and check. So we've got the quest book. So let's go ahead and see if I got everything done. So trees for days, nine saplings planted at once. Um, I mean, technically, yes. I mean, I know they're not all saplings, but it's a three by three square. So we got that covered. So let's go ahead and see. Regards to so it begins. Explore your first two islands. Spawn does not count. We definitely did that. Wheat farmers only make a wheat farm. Yep, we definitely have that. It's got, well, pumpkins and melons as well, but it's a wheat farm. We've got ourselves story time volume, both test 1A entries, which I'm assuming I have both of those at this point. So let's go ahead and see. Um, test 1A, test 1A, and then shift, shift, which, oh yeah, I just realized. I was going to save those four books for... This final episode, story time, or we got that echo who find out more about Operation Echo, which I have a book on that. Infinite what and make an infinite water source. I have that. Buy something from the XP market. I had to buy myself some iron from the XP market in order to be able to make myself a new bucket because I ended up falling off of the island, died, lost my bucket. So that's been accomplished. Let's go ahead and go to sleep and get rid of some of this rain. There we go. Alright, so let's see. What else? Um, cake is alive. Find or craft a cake. I found a cake in a chest underneath one of the islands, so that's good. Let's see. Make explore. Explore all islands. We've done that. End of the road. Craft a diamond pick. And that's the end of the achievements. And yeah, we have ourselves a diamond pickaxe. So, now that that's over, I did say a few episodes ago I was going to wait until this final episode to read these books. And I think they're supposed to go in this particular order. I thought it was done, but yeah, I completely forgot about these books. So let's go ahead and end the episode off by reading these books. Uh, test 1A has been coming deeper and deeper. Test subject 1B has been injected with N substance. A substance that is almost unknown to us. 1B has been having a purple glow in his eyes. I will keep more of an eye on 1B. In the day one, day two, a long night it was. 1B could not sleep, but more of a soulless state took its place. 1B's eyes are not decreasing or stopping. It is it is growing brighter by the minute. I gave 1B his food for the day, but 1B seems to have no interest to eat. The, uh, end of day two. Test 1A is going, is playing, but 1B is not doing well. He's not eating, he is empty. I, every time I look in his eyes, there is nothing. 1B is turning black and it started at the injection point and carried on. I will keep an eye on 1B. And then Operation Shift is now in testing. Test 1A is a failure. Okay. Entry Shift. I just got... Okay, Operation Shift, Entry 1 of 2. I just got signed to a huge project. It's a biomatter called N Substance. The name hopefully is being worked on. As a student, I can't judge. So the project starts tomorrow. So night. Just getting to the workplace and I'm still waking up. Just got a lot of paperwork done. I'm going to my new workspace. 
It looks so awesome in here, but work has to be done. So I will research and get supplies tonight, I think. That's what it says. All right, and then last but not least, entry two. Long, long days I've been staying here at the workplace. Parents worry, but it's for the better. Research is going as planned. The discoveries are good. Teleportation is introduced with the power of this substance. Floating is also introduced somehow. Floating without any support. I melted iron and the substance together to make a rod. The rod's holster is a combination of pink and purple. This is how it floats with no support. Interesting. Now, there's a lot of backstory to be had about this particular story. And this, I I'm not exactly sure how to explain, but it does have to do with this backstory in Operation Echo. So let's go ahead and read this. You wake up on island, everything is blur, but you feel like you just got hit in the head or something. You stand up, see many more islands around you. you you're filled with hope, you say. This is, will be a mega adventure. So I think I got that at the start of the series in Operation Echo. Go make the first AI to create. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, that is pretty much all there is as far as story is concerned. Uh, I know TGC has something behind this story, but personally, I don't really remember what this story is supposed to be. He's supposed to be improving the story as far as the next update is concerned. I realized I wasn't going to give any spoilers, but I completely forgot about that. But anyway, that's actually going to have to do it for this episode and this season so hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure that like button but more than make sure that subscribe button for future content also you can follow me on twitter at agency zero to stay updated this has been zero studios thank you guys for watching and with that i will see you guys later